and I actually died twice. Through the grace of God, uh, I was able to be revived twice. They were able to go and do the surgery and put in the left ventricle device, which, uh, which was the bridge to get me to uh, my heart transplant. Many of these people are very sick when we meet them and end up taking care of them and transplant them and see them doing things that you know they just thought they'd never do again. That's what's most rewarding for me. The quality of the care here uh, is, I think, on par with the best in the world. The amount of thought that goes into the diagnosis and the treatment of each individual patient is really quite astounding. The compassion and the effort that people go through for each individual patient is really unmatched. I researched the uh, surgeons, the doctors, and the quality that they provide to you. And once I did that, I didn't have any doubt that Barnes was the best choice for me. The survival rate from cardiac transplantation is greater than 90% at one year. There are very few other operations where you take such a sick person and get them such good quality and quantity of life. Survival at one year at Barnes-Jewish is at or above the benchmark for national average as a consequence of the excellent care here. There are lots of um, reasons and things that make us a national leader in transplantation. Uh, clearly, um, one would be that we have you know, exceptional outcomes. The other really important issue is that you know, we have this, this fully integrated multidisciplinary team that is committed to providing the highest level of resources to our patient population. Surgery is surgery. There's no way to make light of that. Once we get you through the operation, I think every patient enjoys a, a tremendous improvement in the quality of life and their lifespan also improves as a result of that. All of the newest devices have been put here in trials and you know we have access to those devices for our patients. You know, we intend to be one of the leading centers in the country putting in uh, assist devices uh, for uh, sick heart failure patients. I couldn't walk before without a breath. Uh, I didn't have any stamina, you know, I was laying around. I was very depressed. And now that the heart is there, my wife thinks I talk a lot more. I, I have that energy now and, and when I didn't have it before. I think that we're partners with our patients, that we come to know them as they come to know what our options are. And together we navigate what the options and what the possible uh, opportunities are for their care. Our goal is not just to put the device or the heart in and then our job is done. Our goal is to make sure that he maximizes his benefit as a person to be able to fully enjoy the full uh, range of life that he can when he gets a new heart or a new device and things like that. We're so blessed that we're able to do whatever we want to do now. Our life is, we have our life back, period.